Hello and welcome back to the Grease Board. Uh, we'll be talking about VOR and GPS approaches without vertical guidance. They're very similar. Uh, the reason being is this uh, ERJ-175 will not track a VOR in the navigation mode, so it's going to be an overlay. So it will be uh, very similar to a GPS approach. The uh, difference between the GPS approach and the VOR approach is that you have to monitor the uh, the raw data and we'll do that through the preview button so for all ground based navigation we'll select preview at some point or another in the approach so let's start uh, at above the final approach fixed altitude to see how things work out so let's say we're above the final approach fixed altitude we're heading altitude both are green and uh, we're coming in on vectors and then uh, we're clear for the approach clear for the approach what do we do go to the altitude preselector set nda then uh, since we're going to use path to get ourselves down we're going to select VNAV and the green out will turn to a magenta altitude and then uh, we'll select NAV. And it'll be heading NAV until we uh, intercept the course. Once we intercept the course, it'll be NAV, LNAV and out MDA. One minute prior to the top of the descent, fall, here comes VTA and uh, we'll have LNAV and path going down to MDA. Three miles from the final approach fix, gear down, flaps three, bug 160. Bob's 5 V approach line and checklist. All right, fully configured by two miles from the final approach fix. Point three, FPA roll it down, and then you'll be LNAV FPA and going down to MDA. If by chance you're at the final approach fix altitude already, so we're heading altitude, both of the green, and we're at the final approach fix altitude. You're going to have magenta preview if it's a VOR. You're going to just have magenta if it's a GPS. And we're coming in. Uh, let's see. We'll, uh, we're cleared for the approach. We'll set MDA and then uh, NAV. And then we'll intercept. It'll be LNAV out and MDA. Three miles prior to the final approach fix. Gear down, flaps three, bug 160. Flaps five, V approach line checklist. Fully configured no, uh, before basically before the two mile fix, and that'll keep you out of any troubles. Point three, FPA, roll yourself down, and then we'll be LNAV FPA going down the MDA. At this point, there's two possible outcomes. If we hear minimums, and FPA will transition to A cell, and then over to altitude, then we set missed approach to altitude, and we fly to the missed approach point and go around. If modern pilot says continue, autopilot off, autopilot off, ask him to set this approach altitude, and we continue to the point we have to go around. Then it's going to be a go around, laps two, pause rate, gear up. Then we're going to take a look at our needles. You'll notice that the needles are magenta, so we don't have to press FMS nav. At 400 feet, it's simply nav. At 1,000 feet, that's correct. Flight level change, 210, laps one, laps up. The next F bug, and then once flaps are all the way up, or indicating zero on the ICAS, and we'll monitor policy flaps up, and we'll say after takeoff checklist. And there is the VOR GPS approach with vertical navigation. Oh, check that without vertical navigation. Again, as always, uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below, and I'll talk to you later.